To be near him, I got a job at Arthur Crabtree's turkey-style country farm. Crabtree was the biggest employer in the area, and a bit like Bernard Matthews, only not as classy. <laughs> he sold all sorts of shapes made out of turkey, nuggets, twizzlers, and his latest was in the shape of Beyonce, which he described as both bootiful and delicious. <laughs> Bootalicious, in fact. He interviewed me for the job on the factory floor. Oh, yes, I've always been fascinated by birds. Um, I've even studied a lot of bird literature. Uh, Parakeets, Parashelli, Parawordsworth. What? I haven't got a clue what you're talking about, my young fellow. To be honest, I'm struggling to follow you as well. Nonsense. I just happen to have a bit of a Norfolk burr. A what? Burr. Well, if you're cold, for goodness sake, put a coat on. Right, well, if you want a job here, you'll need to show me you can pluck a bird in 30 seconds flat. righty ho <laughs> Finished. Very good. And none of it goes to waste, of course. Here's a pillowcase. Fill it up. right huh? Mmm, a chicken carcass pillow. <laughs> Lovely and soft. Now, what do you want me to do with all these feathers? <laughs> I loved working there. But best of all was the chief nutritionalist who was in charge of the whole Crabtree operation. Hello, Mr Jones. News of one of your innovative ideas has got us very excited in this lab. Ah, that was just an accident, I'm afraid. Dropped something in the processing machine and we ended up with what I like to call Chicken Kharkiev. I see. Tell me, uh, your badge says you're a Megan. What's that, a vegan who eats meat? No, no, it's a name badge. I'm I'm Megan. (laughs) Oh. Allow me to give you the factory tour. Over here are all the minerals and vitamins that you find in the average chicken. I see, and at what stage do you add them to the recipe? No, we take them out. Can you open that pedal bin for me? There we are. Oh, and what's this? Mm-hmm. This really is so fresh and delicious. It's a salad baguette from Marks and Spencer's. I got it in my lunch hour. <laughs> Between you and me, I was definitely falling for her. The rubber gloves, the stilettos, the hair tied up in a bun... I was making every effort to impress her. 